From the title that put the Xbox on the map and created a generation of gamers whose calling card was putting their virtual balls on people's faces comes the sixth-ish entry in the beloved franchise that brings innovation to the series by giving you the one thing everyone always asked for. Letting Master Chief swing around like Spider-Man with a gun. Halo Infinite. Dive into the turbulent beginnings of Halo Infinite as this mainline entry debuts to not-so-receptive audiences, with their lackluster reveal being met with such criticism by fans that they put it back in the oven until 2021, essentially pulling a Sonic movie makeover after everyone on the internet made fun of this guy. Then watch as Halo rises from the ashes of the disdain and hatred and creates a Halo that actually breaks out of their usual straightforward formula, giving way to a much more open, non-linear world, and visuals that don't look like something from the PS3 era, giving a facelift to a Halo experience that was starting to look like your grandma's grandma. And in this age of gaming, we all know what an open world really means. Another massive list of boxes for you to neurotically check off whether you enjoy it or not. Okay, look, what is this, like the seventh Halo now? I think he's earned punching a grunt in the face for no reason to get a decal for his gun. Don the iconic green armor of Master Chief as he faces off against familiar alien foes. As the Banished, a group of truly boring aliens they picked up from the lore of Halo Wars 2 for some reason, threaten to end humanity by harnessing the power of the Halo, a strategy that has famously never worked out in their favor. As Master Chief is awoken after being unceremoniously 300 kicked into space, and single-handedly goes into battle to stop the resurrection of the ring. With the help of one of the most annoying helpers since Navi. No, not her. This guy. As you're constantly flanked by manic pixie girl Cortana and this dude who won't stop screaming about how they're all going to die. You should listen to her. You're gonna get us all killed. Even though Master Chief has literally saved the universe this exact way multiple times. In a story that has some interesting narrative reveals but ultimately harkens back to the old school Halo song and dance except this time showing you how much of a sociopath Master Chief really was. What is wrong with you? Remind me to never pick up his parts. You know, at the pace they're going, the next sequel will be about Master Chief grappling away from therapy sessions and dealing with the Space VA. Bash your way into the evolved combat of Infinite, as the traditional gunplay is adjusted for having a grappling hook, where the relatively slow movement of Halo adds a vertical element, making you feel less like a bulldozer and more like a wrecking ball as you stun enemies and repel towards them, scale sheer cliff sides, throw barrels like Donkey Kong, and falcon punch everything into oblivion, adding a surprisingly fast-paced element to the gameplay that feels reminiscent of Doom. Then upgrade the other abilities that you'll sometimes use when you remember them, all of which are kinda useful, but mostly feel like they were just put in so you'd go do side quests and upgrade them, because any minute you're using a different power, you're not using the grappling hook, but that, coupled with the usual smorgasbord of guns, vehicles, and grenades, still end up feeling like the great shooter that the series is known for being. I mean, that is why we keep coming back. Well, that, and the theme music. <laughs> experience the actual draw of Halo, the multiplayer experience, which they split off from the main campaign and made free to play, with the obvious caveat that they're gonna start trying to sell you shit after you're hooked because the new profit model for video games is basically the same as drug dealing outside of a middle school, and fall deep into the very familiar gameplay of online Halo, that despite all the bells and whistles they've added over the years, still evokes the nostalgia of blood gulch and big team battles, and the joy of the pistol being like twice as good as an assault rifle, with the possible chance that anyone who's any good will now not only be able to hand you your ass, but will do it while flying through the air top speed like they're playing Bionic Commando while you mainly use it to put yourself in the perfect spot to die immediately. But hey, if you do get good enough, every kill has a non-zero chance of sending a former frat guy into a midlife crisis. So pick up your holographic waifu and get ready to exterminate some extraterrestrials in a great showing during a season full of mediocrity and straight up travesty. That goes to show you that sometimes all you need to do to create a success is get bashed by the internet until you fix your bad ideas. Starring Arms DLC, Windows Vista Cortana, Pedro Pascared, Revenge of Harambe, Some Bug Lady, and Craig. Space Cause 2. Okay, I know we're in the era of near photoreal graphics and all, but do we really have to see each individual tooth? Ugh.
Tell us what you'd like to hear in my epic voice in the comments below. That Dragon Age guy must be really happy, right? He fought on until his wish was fulfilled. Now he can rest. I've seen weirder sexual fantasies. Death rejected me, but I'm sure it will welcome you. I suspect you have questions. I seduce the dragon.